I was born without arms. I am getting ready for a blind date. The outfit that I'm wearing shows my shoulders so that my date will know that I don't have arms. Meeting someone that like uses their feet for everything, it can pose a lot of questions. That's why I'm doing this. So people can see it's not that scary. Hi, how's it going? Hey, can I give you a hug? Yeah, sure. You are very cute. You too. Did they tell you I didn't have arms? Well, you don't have arms. Oh my god, I know. Where the f did they go? I just don't have the stamina to do this every day, but I do enjoy doing it. I was born without arms. Medically, that would just be called bilateral plasia of the upper limbs. I'm getting ready for my date. Maybe wear some perfume so I don't smell bad. I'm definitely very self-conscious about it. Meeting someone that like uses their feet for everything, it can pose a lot of questions. That's why I'm doing this, so people can see it's not that scary. The outfit that I'm wearing shows my shoulders so that my date will know that I don't have arms. That's gonna have to be okay. My name is Dustin, I'm 27 years old and I'm in med school. My type is somebody that is um, that I can vibe with really well, that we can have like a really easy conversation. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Hey, can I give you a hug? Yeah, sure. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, what's your name? My name is Inga, what's yours? Dustin. Dustin? Yeah. Um, have you ever done a blind date before? No, first one. This is my first one too. Nice, yeah. So do you work here? Are you yeah. going to school or? Yep, I'm in my third year of med school. Oh my God, that's so cool. What kind of what, what kind of medicine do you want to practice? So kind of I'm leaning towards psychiatry. Okay. That's definitely like what my so cool. interests are. Yeah, thanks. Oh my goodness, wait, how, can I ask how old you are? I'm 27. Okay. Yeah, how about you? I'm tw 22, but I'm turning 23 on the 23rd. Oh, nice. Of this month, yeah, very so I'm cool. very excited. Very cool. I am a philosophy and law criminal justice in society, but wow. I want to go into like law school, obviously. Do you, do you drink coffee? Do you want to order coffee? I would love coffee. Perfect. I was going to get you water, but then things got really busy, so I, I'm sorry I didn't get you water. It's all good. <laughs> No worries. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, yeah. look at the flowers. Look, oh god, do you want to try this? It's really good. Yeah, sure. It's so good. Just... No, yeah, you're so good. It's really good. I think you are very cute. You too. Um, did they tell you I didn't have arms? No. Well, you don't have arms. Oh my god, I know. Where the f did they go? Oh. I know. I, I literally had to like go out and find them. No, I. I was like, I wonder what to say about it. Yeah. I mean, you know, what can you say about it? Like. Yeah. Growing up without arms, it's like very interesting, right? Because you sort of live with it every day. So even though I feel like I have had to spend my entire life working to find new solutions to do things or to get places or to do what I want to do, it's the only thing I've ever known. So for me, it's not this, you know, crazy different thing. It's just sort of adapting in a world where you are not the standard norm, I guess. Do you mind if I ask you questions no. about it? So like, is it something that you were born with or mm -hmm. is it something that happened later on? Born yeah, with? so I'm adopted, so I don't know a lot of like my personal history, but I've just always been born without them. How's that been? I mean, it's all I've ever known. So I think it's been a pretty chill time. I think like when I was younger, I felt like really guilty about it living in a society that's not very adaptable to that and like needing help through that. Yeah. But then recently I was just kind of like, is that my fault or is that just the fact that we live in a society that's like very geared towards one very specific kind of person? I think you have such a great attitude about it. Like, Thank you. you know. Okay, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Okay. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Okay, okay. He seems very sweet. He seems funny, which I like, and um, yeah, it's going really well. He's cute. He has a nice, cute little flirty smile. I like it when he smiles. Do they do they ask you any questions? Ah, uh, yeah. I might. Can I ask what they asked? What you yeah. said? <laughs> They're like, "What do you think?" And I was like, "I gotta get out of here." Like, I gotta, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta go. Yeah, but I'm assuming you said the same. Yeah. So. You wanna switch my straw over? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, you asked something. I've been asking questions. Your turn. Sure. So, do you go out much? I think of myself as very extroverted, and I am, but like, I don't go out very much. I um, live with three roommates, and sometimes my roommates will go like one, two, like three times a week, which is great and amazing for them. I just don't have the stamina for it. I'm more of like a drink boxed wine and take my Adderall and do homework in bed kind of girl. I love it. It's very nice. Very chill. Sometimes I go out and I'm completely fine and I feel so confident and I have such a great time and I will get hit on and it's great. And then there are definitely some times though where I'll just have like one too many people like look at me and it's always like, do they think I'm cute? Do they think I'm harmless? Are they uncomfortable? Are they being creepy? Yeah. And then I can get like really in my head and like sometimes I'll go out for like 30 minutes and I'm like, I have to go home. I'm 100%. I mean, you know, I'm not harmless, so I don't know <laughs> your like, experience. I completely understand. I Let completely just chop them get off everything right you're saying. But I mean, you know, there's so much like truth into what you say. And I think I have to remember that this happens to everyone too. Like if I do something clumsy, I'm like, oh, it's because I don't have arms or oh, if I don't do this. And I have to remember, I'm like, Yes, you do things differently, but like everyone has bad nights like and I think it is kind of important to like not reflect that on yourself because like People can be kind of gross. Yeah. Do you have a hot take on anything? Um, I have a few hot takes. Let's hear them. Okay Shoot. You're not gonna like the first one one cats are not my favorite animal. I think snakes and reptiles are oh, I <laughs> <laughs> I gotta um, go. Secondly, very controversial take. I feel like ghosts exist. I'm sorry. Oh. Do I have any proof? No, but like yeah. sometimes something will happen and I'm like, no, like literally when the f goes to my room. For sure. I think that anything's possible. Yeah. Ghosts could be out there. Aliens are for sure out there. For sure. Maybe it's the aliens disguised as ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. It was so nice meeting you. Yeah, it was really nice to meet you too. You have a nice smile. I like talking to you. Thanks, you do too. Uh, do you want to get out of here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> How'd the date go? Um, I think it went pretty well. What do you think? I think it went pretty well. Sweet. Yeah. I like, like just being able to like laugh and kind of like shoot the a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Will you see each other again? I hope so. I hope, I hope we see each other again. <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you I think? think? I think I think we should see each other again. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Dating is supposed to be like light and fun. And so, you know, even if you do like have a disability or something that you're self-conscious of, just like be willing and open to just not, you know, take yourself too seriously and just find those like little pockets of um, joy and just being able to connect with another person.